Hey guys, it's Gaijin Hunter, and today I wanted to cover something we don't talk about a lot, which is the non-weapon specific hunter arts in Monster Hunter Cross. There are 10 in total, and I have down in the description for this video how to unlock all the ones that aren't unlocked by default. Let's jump right in. The first one, Absolute Evade, is available from the very start of the game. Just tap it and you'll do a very long, invincible frame evade that'll get you out of the way and it will auto-sheathe your weapon, allowing you to run away, do a potion, do whatever you want. Absolute Evade Battle is another version which does it, but it leaves you with your weapon out at the end. It also gives you 10 extra points of sharpness, reloads your bullets, and also puts on your coatings if you are a gunner. Very, very useful. Heal gain for a period of time will increase the potency of your heal items and also increase your healing capabilities so that the red temporary damage on your health gauge restores faster. This might be helpful against ferocious monsters since all their additional damage is done as red damage. Next up is the Hunter's Oasis. They had shown this off a lot during the promotional videos leading up to the release of Monster Hunter Cross. It takes a very, very long time to charge up, but once you do, you place it down and it creates this little healing space, which is about a radius of one evade, and if you're inside the area, you get healed gradually. Now, mind you, it's only about an herb or so, but it's still helpful. The next one, Perfect Combination, is another one that's really not used that often. It's interesting in principle, but maybe not practice. But if you go to combine items, if you don't bring down combination books, if you notice it's like 75% for a bomb, go ahead and use Perfect Combination and every single item that you can do becomes 100%. And if there's any chance that you can make more than one in one combine, you will definitely make the max amount. Sounds useful, but if that's your only art, I don't think that's going to be it. Okay, next is one called Escape Runner, and this is another one that we don't really talk about because no one really uses it. Um, once you activate it for the next 30 seconds, anytime you're running with your back to a large monster or carrying an egg or another large item, you won't use any stamina. Notice how I use stamina when I run towards it, but when I run away, no stamina at all. So does it let you run away or let you carry stuff really fast? Sure. But for transporting, it only lasts for 30 seconds, so it's hardly enough to get you all the way back to base camp, but still, it's a nice idea. Okay, now some of the fun ones. Frenzy Body, if you activate it, your hunter will do this like drinking motion and you'll give yourself the Frenzy Virus. Why would you want to do that? Well, after you hit the monster enough times and you overcome the virus, you do get a boost in affinity, so this is really good for squeezing out some extra damage. If they bring back Chaos Magala in the next game, this is going to be really nice with those weapons. Next one, Solid Body, is kind of hard to show off in the video here, but what it does is, for a limited period of time, you get no knockback. It's like getting super armor for your entire weapon. So like if you're a Lancer and you're just sick of getting knocked around, especially if you have a monster that's been downed and you're all in there trying to hit it, go ahead and use this skill and you can do it. The only caveat is it takes away your ability to do a normal dash with the R button. Next one is really fun. This is called Rock Body. So not only do you, can you not dash, but you also can't evade at all with the B button. But as a trade-off, pretty much everything that can possibly knock you away doesn't do anything. You still take damage, but you don't get knocked away. For example, you can sit there and you can just bomb a monster. You can get hit. You can get swiped, and nothing really happens. You still take damage, though. Mind you, it also does have a nice side effect of negating certain status ailments, such as poison, which you just saw here with Camellios. And finally, we have Phoenix Breath. Now, what this does is it heals any kind of status ailment you might have, whether it be a negative one or a good one, especially if you're a horn user. And for every one that it does heal, you do gain a little bit of health. So it could be useful with the horn, which has lots of status ailments, and it could be used sort of as an instant max potion. It takes a while to charge up, though. Okay, so some final thoughts. Now, the Absolute Evade, both the regular one and the battle version, are used a lot from a lot of players, but I would say all the other ones are kind of situational, and I don't think a lot of people choose them, especially when you consider that every weapon has three arts that you can choose from. And Striker Style, you get to equip three, Guild two, and all the other ones only one art, so the fact of any of these actually getting into the one that you're using is kind of slim. That being said, when I do Striker, Sword, and Shield, I definitely do use the Frenzy Body because it allows me to get an extra boost of Affinity, which I use with Status Crit. Um, and I definitely see a lot of users using the Evade and Absolute Evade Battle. So, And although the Absolute Evade Battle does give you a Sharpness boost, it's only 10 units, so it's not the same as a Whetstone, but for weapons that you have Razor Sharp or you don't hit that often, like a Great Sword or a Hammer, it's actually really valuable, which is why you'll see a lot of people using it. Just a reminder, I went ahead and put in the description for this video down below how to unlock all of these hunter arts, so if you're playing the game, go ahead and check that out if you don't know. 
And I hope that covers it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy hunting.